In 2021, the market for non-fungible tokens exploded growing to approximately 22 billion and attracting an estimated 280,000 buyers and sellers in 185,000 unique wallets. However, as the market has expanded, so is the potential for cybercrime, with reports of NFT fraud, NFT art scams, and NFT game scams. Both the cryptocurrency and NFT markets are relatively unregulated. This indicates that criminals may be able to exploit loopholes and commit fraud. Because of this, there has been extensive news coverage of NFT Ponzi schemes, open sea scams, and NFT art finance scams, among others. Today's story will lay credence to that. Welcome to today's edition of Fraud Files, where we'll talk about a former NFT Marketplace employee who was charged in the first ever digital asset insider trading scheme. To avoid missing any of the details in this story, make sure to watch it all the way through. Also, remember to subscribe to this channel and click the bell icon to be notified when new videos are posted. Let's get this party started. The United States Attorney for the Southern District of New York, Damian Williams, and Michael J. Driscoll, Assistant Director in Charge of the FBI's New York Field Office, announced the unsealing of an indictment changing Nathaniel Chastain, a former product manager at Ozone Networks Incorporated DBA OpenSea, with wire fraud and money laundering. Chastain was arrested in New York, New York, and will appear in the U.S. District Court for the Southern District of New York. NFTs may be new, but this type of criminal scheme is not, said U.S. Attorney Damian Williams. Nathaniel Chastain, it is claimed, betrayed OpenSea by using its confidential business information to make money for himself. Today's charges demonstrate this office's commitment to combating insider trading, whether it occurs on the stock market or on the blockchain. In this case, as alleged, Chastain launched an age-old scheme to commit insider trading by using his knowledge of confidential information to purchase dozens of NFTs in advance of them being featured on OpenSea's homepage, said FBI Assistant Director in Charge Michael J. Driscoll. With the introduction of any new investment tool such as blockchain-supported non-fungible tokens, there will be those who seek to exploit flaws for personal gain. The FBI will continue to pursue actors who choose to manipulate the market in this manner aggressively. According to the indictment unsealed in federal court in Manhattan, this case involves insider trading in NFTs on OpenSea, the world's largest online NFT marketplace. Chastain exploited his advanced knowledge of which NFTs would be featured on OpenSea's homepage for his personal financial gain, in violation of the duties of trust and confidence he owed to his employer, OpenSea. Chastain was in charge of selecting NFTs to be featured on OpenSea's homepage as part of his job. OpenSea kept the identities of featured NFTs hidden until they appeared on its homepage. When an NFT was featured on OpenSea's homepage, buyers' willingness to pay for that NFT, as well as other NFTs made by the same NFT creator, typically increased significantly. Federal officials say that this is the first example of insider trading involving non-fungible tokens. Prosecutors believe that Nathaniel Chastain, 31, used his position as product manager at OpenSea to purchase NFTs before they were publicly marketed on the website, and then resold them at a profit when other investors purchased the digital items. According to a 2021 corporate blog post, he left when the New York company uncovered his behavior in September of last year. NFTs, whose popularity has skyrocketed among retail and institutional investors in recent years, provide proof of ownership over a unique piece of code linked to digital art, video, or text. The digital tokens can be sold or transferred but cannot be duplicated or divided into smaller tokens. According to the investment firm Jefferies, the market for non-financial derivatives will reach $35 billion this year and exceed $80 billion by 2025. From at least in or around June 2021 to at least in or around September 2021, Chastain secretly purchased dozens of NFTs shortly before they were featured on its homepage using OpenSea's confidential business information. Chastain sold these NFTs after they were featured on OpenSea for two to five times their initial purchase price. Chastain concealed the fraud by making these purchases and sales through anonymous digital currency wallets and anonymous OpenSea accounts. Chastain, 31, of New York, New York, faces a maximum sentence of 20 years in prison on one count of wire fraud and one count of money laundering. 
The maximum possible sentences are set by Congress and are provided here for informational purposes only, as the defendant's sentence will be determined by a judge. Mr. Williams praised the FBI for its outstanding work. Mr. Williams also expressed gratitude to the National Cryptocurrency Enforcement Team for assisting with the investigation. The Securities and Commodities Fraud Task Force at the office is handling the case. The prosecution is led by Assistant United States Attorneys Thomas S. Burnett and Nicholas Ruse. The charges and the indictment are only accusations, and the defendant is presumed innocent until and unless proven guilty. As the introductory line indicates, the whole language of the indictment and the description of the indictment contained in the press release are allegations, and each fact presented should be considered an allegation. And here we come to the end of today's Fraud Files episode about a former NFT Marketplace employee who was charged in first-ever digital asset insider trading scheme. We hope you enjoyed watching the video. If so, please subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. After clicking the bell icon, you can stay tuned to our channel for more amazing videos like this one. Don't forget to share your thoughts on this event in the comments section below. We'll see you in the next Fraud Files.